Hello and welcome back to Subtle Lock. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. What I've got to see you today is this strange looking <coughs> combination lock. Um, and if you went to the Reading Music Festival in 2008 and you hired one of our lockers, you were given this padlock to secure your locker. Um, which uh, I find is uh, quite bizarre. Uh, the reason I find it quite bizarre is because to be able to change the combination, you have to uh, insert a uh, screwdriver into the bottom slot there. And if I was to take a screwdriver into a music festival, then during the bag search, I'm sure that will probably get confiscated because it could be uh, used as a lethal weapon. Equally, if I took a multi-tool into a festival I was camping at, then again, I would probably expect this to be confiscated. Um, so, <clears throat> that's the first reason I find it bizarre. The next reason I find it bizarre is because it's got a built-in compass. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was going to secure my locker, I would expect my locker to stay where it is, and I probably wouldn't want to know what direction it's facing. The other thing that I find quite bizarre about this uh, lock is that uh, you're in the middle of a music festival, you're standing there, it's crowded, or you're sat down somewhere, and you think, oh, I fancy a beer. You've got your bottle of beer, and the only place you've got a bottle opener is back at your locker. So you have to walk all the way back to your locker to be able to open up your beer. So, bizarre and quite funny from my point of view. So, if you went to the Redden Music Festival in 2008, uh, please let me know how you managed to uh, change the combination without a screwdriver or a multi-tool. And if you went to the music festival this year, please let me know whether they're still using these and issuing these, because I'm about to show you how to open these, and they're pretty easy to open. So as you can see, we set it to 000, zero, zero and the lock opens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the code, push the screwdriver in, turn it by 90 degrees, Turn the code so neither you and I can see it. Make sure the wheels are all lined up. Let's change that back. That pops out. And again, change these wheels so neither of us can see what's going on. Set it to zero, zero, zero to prove it has been changed. And it's locked. So, what we've got here is we've got uh, each wheel has got three gates one true gate, <coughs> two false gates. Now, we can use that to our advantage because the spacing of each gate is not symmetrical. Uh, threes and ten don't go, so what they've done is they've put one gate in after three turns another gate in after three turns, and another gate in after four turns. And we can use that to our advantage. First of all, what we've got to do is turn these wheels until we find a gate for each wheel. And you do that because you feel the shackle move. That might be it. That's, that's about it, I think. Let's make sure each wheel is in the gate. So, one, two, three. That's gone into a gate. Two, three. That's gone into a gate. One, two, three, four. That wheel went into a gate on the fourth turn which is what I'm after. So we do this one. One, 
two, three. It's gone, <coughs> it's gone into a gate. Excuse me. One, two, three, four. That's gone into a gate. So that's on the fourth gate. That's the third gate. That's the fourth gate. Or the fourth number. So let's try this one. One, two, three, four. So how does this help as well? They're all in the same position. These wheels are now in the same position. So all I've got to do now, he says hopefully, is turn these wheels one at a time. One, two, three. And there you go. It's open. That's how simple it is to get into that lock. So if you're the organisers of Reading 2024 and you're thinking of using these um, padlocks for the lockers, please don't because they're simple to get into. So what's the big secret of this lock? The big secret of this lock is it was never intended as a locker lock. If you uh, search on Google for a lock with a compass and bottle opener, what you get back is a lock manufactured by FJM Security and their model number, excuse me, <coughs> their model number is an SX, that's Sierra X-Ray hyphen 689 and it's actually a backpacker's lock which makes some kind of sense. So uh, as a backpacker, you might want to secure your backpack to something. You might want to secure the um, tabs, the zip tabs on your backpack. You may want a compass. M might give you some idea of cardinal direction you're heading. And of course, if you're a backpacker, you're going to want to open a bottle of beer. <coughs> So, if you are using this as a backpacker's lock, you might want to think about changing it because I've just shown everybody how to open it. Uh, if you've got any comments, uh, if you went to Redden Festival, as I say, in 2008 or 2023, let me know how you got on. And, um, yeah, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That's all I've got time for you today.